one problem that you will run into if you're writing music for a decent sized ensemble is the actual amount of screen space that you have and the amount of music that you can see usefully on the screen. As you can see at the moment, I'm looking at the top of my score for Scarborough Fair here and there's nothing there. There's no notes, but there are if I scroll down. So there are bits of the screen, bits of the score where there are notes, I can't see them. And if I'm going to scroll across, for example, I can see that the flutes and clarinets are playing up here. I can't really learn trumpets, but I can't really see what else is going on until I scroll down. So that's not ideal. And if I scroll out, if I zoom out so that I can see everything, the notes themselves are really too small to be identifiable. So what can we do about it? Well, I could decide to maximise the amount of space I have on the screen by minimising the ribbon, using the green arrow there. But even so, it's still not ideal. Plus, I like personally to have the ribbon available all the time. What else can I do? Well, I could try using, if I'm using Sibelius 7.5, I could use a timeline. But what the timeline does is just shows you where different sections of the music is busy. It doesn't actually show you the notes. So what we then have to do is zoom in anyway, which gives me the same issue. So that doesn't really help either. Thankfully, Sibelius has a wee feature that can help. Let's say, for example, there's this area here. Okay, so I'm at letter D on the score, and I can see from there that there's a hole in the music. There's nothing happening in the brass parts. If I hit play at this point, you can hear the wind playing, you can hear the rhythm section at the bottom playing, but there's no brass in there. Now I want to be able to write stuff in there while comparing it to what I'm hearing elsewhere. There's a wee feature in Sibelius, if I select all the brass parts, I can go to the Layout tab, and there's a feature called Focus on Staves. You can see the shortcut there, Control alt f I'm going to click that button there, and just the brass parts now show. Ideally, I would want to then combine that with Panorama, because then I can show the brass parts at full size. Now whenever I play from there, I'm hearing everything that's going on, but I'm looking at the brass parts in a sensible size, so I can then start to work with the brass parts, deciding, putting notes in, adding notations, whatever I want to do, knowing that when I hit play, I'm going to hear how that fits in musically with the rest of the group. So there we go, I've now added my brass parts, and if I again hit the, the P button from letter D, I can see that what I've written there actually fits perfectly well with the rest of my score. So focus on staves is a handy feature to keep in mind, because it lets you work on a part of your score while hearing it in context with the rest of the score.